Let's explore empathy. We can consider two roots of the idea. One lies with the Greek origin of the word empathy, pathos. Pathos can be translated as emotion, feeling, or suffering, and in some cases, pity. Then there's a German word for empathy, Einfühlen. This word literally means in feeling or feeling into. The German philosopher Robert Fischer first used the word to describe the human capacity to enter into a piece of art or literature and feel the emotion that the artist had worked on to represent. So we see that empathy involves emotion, the idea that we are feeling ourselves into others. It's also an imaginative process of figuring out other people's intentions, thoughts and experiences by just observing and connecting with them. You might recognize a link to the process of gaining self-awareness that we laid out in the other video, the part where we try to observe our inner processes without judgment, remember? Once we've practiced this inner witnessing, we might be better at observing others with the same openness and curiosity. As with awareness and responsibility, we have to actively work on developing and practicing empathy in our lives. When we are confronted with people that hold very different views of us, we can work on meeting them without judgment. Now, this requires us to be aware of ourselves and our own frame of reference, you know, the values and biases that we hold so that we don't project them onto other people's perspectives. Instead, all our focus needs to be on being fully present in the service of another human being. The core values of awareness and empathy lead us to connect with ourselves and the people around us. This way we'll be able to take responsibility and make an impact in our lives and the world.